my name is Chris, and I am a certified group fitness instructor with Penn State Campus Recreation. Mental, mental and physical health and well-being is critical, and being active will help you stay healthy and fit. This yoga workout will help. First, a few reminders. Social distancing of six feet is recommended, but it's best not to work out alone, so grab a friend or family member. Start and stop as needed and feel free to modify anything in the workout. Exercise in an open and sa safe space, free of furniture and obstacles. Wipe surfaces before and after exercise. Wear comfortable clothing and athletic shoes or go barefoot for yoga. If you feel dizzy, short of breath, or in pain, stop exercising immediately. If you want music with today's yoga practice, Cue your favorite playlist, clear your exercise space, and start your music when this video starts. Let's get started. Find yourself with comfortable hip width apart feet. Rock up and down on the toes and heels a few times to find yourself in a stable standing position. Just great posture that is the foundation of being mindful and aware. And a few yoga basics before we begin. I invite you to close your eyes, stand tall, Grip into the floor with your feet, maybe a little lift under the arch of the feet. Quadriceps, thighs are engaged, the kneecaps are, in, are lifted, the low belly is engaged. Shoulders down and away from ears, proud chest, energy through the middle of the back, lifting you forward and up, tall through the crown of the head. Shoulders relaxed, maybe slightly draw fingers down toward the earth. And be mindful of your breathing here. The gentle inrush and outflow, calming the chatter. And bringing yourself into this space, this here and this now. Inhaling the hands high and exhaling down. Your own pace, inhaling up. And exhaling down, inhaling up, drop the left arm and move to the left. Just open up slightly to the left, softening the left side body, lengthening the right side body. Inhale both hands up, drop right, move right. Soften the left side body, lengthen left side body. Inhaling up and the other way again, go to the left. Inhale up and to the right. And relax. Inhale the hands up, hands out to the sides, hands flare to the side walls. Check your arms vertically. They're up even, they're even left to right. And now bring the arms back together. Bring the hands flared fingers toward each other, shoulders away from ears, but shoulder blades coming together. Really press to build heat and energy here. Inhale up. Exhale, sweep the arms forward and back. This time, add a little back bend. Really bring the arms back toward one another. Inhale, up. Exhale, sweep back. Your own pace, three or four more. Inhale, up. Exhale, sweep back and tip back. Inhale, up. Sweep back. A couple more. And inhale up, exhale, swan dive. And now to forward fold, bring the arms down, the belly to the thighs, the head hanging loose in the neck, maybe a slight soft bend to the knees. And play around while we get down here for several moments. Maybe walk your body a little to the left, walk your body a little to the right. Hands are either maybe on the shins or holding each other elbow under your toes to draw you a little bit more actively into forward fold. And bending the knees, dropping the hips, sweeping the arms up, inhaling, little back bend, and exhale, hands to prayer, and sit to chair. So just slight, slight lowering of the body, little tilt forward with the, with the pelvis, so we're not overloading the back. Again, shoulders away from ears, long neck, sinking a little bit more deeply 
and adding arms, sweep the arms up, neutral the neck, biceps by ears, higher arms than you think they need to be, and lowering a little bit further into chair. Good, good, good. And if it's available to you, come up off the heels. Just sink down into the toes, keep the arms high, and stand. Inhaling up, exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, back flat, gaze at the floor in front of you, exhale to forward fold. Bend knees, sink hips, rise up, inhale, little back bend, exhale, hands to prayer and sit to chair. Adding arms, a little lower, add heels, a little lower, building heat in our legs, stability, strength, and stand. One more time, inhaling up, exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, sink the hips, rise up, inhale, little back bend. Exhale, hands to prayer and sit to chair. Inhale here while we're in the forward facing position. Exhale, twist to the left. Check the knees that one doesn't drive the head itself in front of the other. If it's available, so you can leverage your elbow on the knee, deepen this twist a little bit more, kind of on the empty part of the breath cycle. Inhale forward, and exhale to the right. Yep, check the knees. Inhale forward, three each side. Exhale as you twist, and there's less room. Inhale forward, exhale to the other side. Two more each side, please, your own pace. And bring it back to center. That was three each side, add arms. Neutralize the neck, shoulders away from ears, sink a little lower, off the heels. Hold, hold, hold. And stand. Well done. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Place the hands on the mat, bend the knees, step or hop back to high plank or to knee plank. Knees or feet. Engage the whole body in the plank. It's from the ankles, the legs, the bottom, the core, the shoulders, of course the arms and wrists and shoulders, but it's a full body plank, not just part of the body. Excellent. And bring it down to forearms. Hips are neither high, hips are neither low. It's neutral. Small little circles with the hips. Itty bitty clockwise circles, three or four and then three or four itty bitty counterclockwise circles with the hips. Think about which hand you want to lead and come back up to high plank. Back up to high plank, excellent. Breathe in here, rise up on the toes. And as we lower ourselves, exhale, keep the elbows close to the ribs, very close, pause before touchdown, then lay the body down. Point the toes back, slide the hands forward, forearms are kind of under the shoulders, and peel the upper body off the floor. Look up, lift the gaze, lift the heart center toward the front, top corner ceiling, and lower back down. Again, upper body comes off the mat. Look up, shine the heart up, and exhale down. Widen the hands, keep the elbows close under you, but widen the hands out about 30 or 40 degrees. And now pick the body up and straighten the elbows, lifting yourself a little further off the mat. Engage the body, engage the core, and lower down. Hands come under the shoulders, push the hips back and up, hips over heels, child's pose, keep the hands forward, and rest. Forehead comes down toward the mat, body resting, knees can be together, they can be apart, but keeping the hands forward. Now walk the hands the body, if you will, over to the left. Just stretch the right side body, peel the forearms down into the earth, 
Accentuate the stretch and come it back to the center and bring the body over to the right. Peel the arms down into the earth. Pull back on them to accentuate the stretch and come back to center. Gaze comes forward, toes point forward. Knees hover off the mat, step or hop the feet between the hands. Come to forward fold, finish this exhalation. Then bend knees, sink hips, rise up, little back bend. On the inhalation, exhale, hands to prayer. If you've lost the front of the mat, come back up to the top part of the mat. Inhaling up, exhale, swan dive to forward fold. This feels a little different than our earlier forward fold. We're warmed up, a little more spinal flexibility. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Place the hands, bend the knees, step or hop back to high plank. Breathe in here, big breath in, rise up in the toes. Exhale, bend the arms, bend the elbows, bring the elbows close to the ribs, lay down, toes point back. The upper body comes off the mat, either the earlier upper body we did or come up on hands and tops of feet, upward facing dog. Big breath in here, inhale to prepare, pop the toes forward, push the hips up, downward facing dog. Maybe walk the hands a little closer to the feet to bring your inverted V into a better V, strongly pushing out through the fingers, the pads of the fingers, reaching into the earth, long through the armpits, chest driving toward the thighs, gaze looking between the ankles, straight or near straight knees, heels driving toward the floor, breathe. Inhale the left foot off the mat, not so high that it turns your body just a little bit up and exhale it back down. Inhale the right foot off the mat and bring it back down. Reestablish your great downward facing dog, long through the body, strong through the arms and legs. Inhale to prepare to move. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the gaze forward, step or hop the feet between the hands. Exhale, finish this exhale and forward fold, then bend the knees, sink the hips, rise up, inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Let's do a couple more of those and knit them together, breath to movement for sun salutations. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, place the hands, step or hop back to high plank. Inhale here, big breath in, rise up in the toes. Exhale, hover down. Inhale, toes back, body up. Exhale, toes forward, hips up, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Move on the third exhale back with feet to the front. Step or hop the hands between the feet. Finish this exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, rise up, inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer, flow it right to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, place the hands, step or hop back to high plank. Establish a great plank, breathe in here. Exhale, hover down. Inhale, toes back, body up. Exhale, toes forward, hips up, downward facing dog. We're going to do one more of these. Three breaths here. Finish this exhalation, forward fold, bend the knees, sink the hips, rise up, little back bend. Exhale, hands to prayer. Flow it right to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, place the hands, step or hop back to high plank. Breathe in, rise up in the toes. Exhale, hover down. Inhale, toes back, body up. Exhale, toes forward, hips up, downward facing dog. Good job. Inhale the left foot off the mat. Bend the left knee and open the left knee and the left hip to the sky, looking under the left arm. Push strongly through both arms in our three-legged dog with hip open to the sky. 
free. Keep the hip open and roll it back over. Place both feet on the ground, reestablish your dog. Inhale the right foot off the mat. Bend the right knee, open the right hip and the right knee to the sky. Push strongly through both arms. Look under the right arm. And exhale, swing the body back, bring the feet back. Great downward facing dog, reestablish your dog again. Couple of breaths, inhale the left foot off the mat. Bend both knees, step the left foot deeply between your hands and come down on the rear knee for a knee lunge. Inhale the hands up, thumb lock or finger lock, bring the hips down and forward as the chest shines up, the gaze looks up. We deepen this stretch, feeling something in the front of the right hip. Place the hands on the mat in front of the feet, bring the front foot back to meet its mate, push the hips up into downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot off the mat. Bend both knees, step the right foot deeply between your hands, come down on the left knee, thumb lock or finger lock, look up, bring the hips down and forward, stretch the front of the left hip deeply. Release hands, frame front foot, front foot meets its mate, hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale the left foot off the mat. Bend both knees, step the left foot deeply between the hands. This time, we rise up on our lunge, full body lunge. Again, thumb lock or finger lock, bring the hips down and forward, look up. Release the hands, bring the body forward, sweep the hands toward the back wall on the exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Low body does not move. Exhale, sweep the body forward. Inhale, up. Exhale forward, inhale up, exhale forward, frame the front foot, bring the front foot back to its mate, hips up, downward facing dog, breathe. Inhale the right foot off the mat, exhale, step the right foot deeply between the hands, rise the whole body up, high lunge, crescent lunge, thumb lock or finger lock, hips down and forward, Chest up, gaze up, biceps by ears. Breathe. Release the hands. Body forward, arms back. Inhale up. One more. Exhale, hands come down, frame the foot, foot meets its mate, come to knees, foot, feet back, hips back over heels, child's pose, rest. Whew, good job. Gaze comes forward, hands come forward, toes point forward, knees hover off the mat, push the hips up. Couple more, downward facing dog, two or three breaths. Inhale the left foot off the mat. Bend the knees, step the left foot between the hands deeply, rise up into lunge, and then open up the rear foot immediately to even with the rear part of the mat, front foot facing forward, rear foot 90 degrees to it, warrior two. Drive the left knee to the outside, add the arms, even left to right and even up and down. Low in the low body, strong in the low body, hips under ribs, under shoulders. Gaze can be at the side wall or over your front finger. Beautiful. Breathe. Hold steady. Drop rear hand. Bring the left hand up. Look at it as it reaches toward the back corner ceiling. Keep the low body low and strong. Open up the left side body. Bring it back to warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse it. Inhale two. Exhale, reverse. Low body does not move. A couple more times. Last time. Come to two and bring it forward into extended side angle. Forearm on.
thigh or elbow leverage between. First the arm is vertical, now bring the arm to the front corner ceiling. Open the chest to the side wall. Anchor through the rear arm. Line of energy from right foot to right fingers, leveraging your body twist a little more deeply with the left elbow. Breathe. Inhale to prepare to move. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Reestablish your two. Windmill the hands, pop the rear foot, frame the front foot with the hands. Front foot meets its mate, come to knees, hips back over heels, child's pose, rest. Gaze comes forward, hands come forward, toes point forward, knees come up, hips come up, downward facing dog. Breathe. We inhale the right foot off the mat. Bend both knees, step the right foot deeply between your hands, rise up, and then open the left foot even with the edge of the mat, feet 90 degrees, hips under ribs, under shoulders, arms, even vertically, horizontally, left to right. Good work. Drive the knee to the outside. Reverse it. Watch the right hand as it reaches to the back corner ceiling. Arm down the back of the leg, left hand down, left leg. Come back to two, inhale, exhale, reverse it. Inhale, exhale, reverse it. Two more. And back to two, body forward, elbow, forearm on knee, or brace the elbow inside. First the arm, uphill arm is vertical. Now bring it in line to the front corner ceiling. Energize through the rear leg, the left leg. Energy from the left foot to the left fingertips. Open the chest to the side wall. Look at the uphill hand as it reaches forward and up. Breathe. Inhale to prepare to move. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Reestablish a great warrior. Pop the rear foot, windmill the hands, frame the front foot, step it back, come to knees, hips back, child's pose, rest. Well done. Gaze comes forward, hands come forward, come right up to tabletop, elbows, excuse me, hands, hands and knees. Establish even here. Cock the right foot out at about a 45 degree angle, just the foot cocks out, the knee just kind of swings there. Then open up your body to the left, strong on the right hand. Left hand reaches back and finds the front of the left ankle. Find your stability on your right arm, your right cocked out foot and knee. Pull back the shoulder, shine the chest to the corner ceiling as you find stability and stretch in a circle of energy. Without flinging, release the foot, come back to tabletop, reestablish symmetry, cock the left foot out. Open up to the right. Right hand finds front of right ankle, circle of energy, Open up the hip, roll the shoulder back, shine the chest up into the side, and the gaze to the sky. Without flinging, release. Rise up on the knees, bring the knees closest together. So we're just kneeling up here. Toes are pointed back, hands come to our back, either fists or fingers flared down, engage the core, and tip back. Find yourself in just a little bit of a stretch here, a little back bend, and bring the head up to come back to vertical. If it's available to you and you wish to come down, hands on the heels to open up into a back bend here. Repeat the back bend with hands on the low back, or bring the hands to the heels. And to come out, lift the head, drop the hips, and rise up. Hands come to the floor, toes point forward, knees come off the mat, step or hop to the front part of the mat. Come into forward fold briefly, finish this exhalation, 
and bend knees, sink hips, rise up, inhale, little back bend, and exhale, hands to prayer. Reestablish your early mountain pose, just great symmetric feet gripped into the earth position. Bring awareness into the left foot, unweight the right foot, tuck it around briefly behind you, then place the right foot on your calf or possibly on the upper inner thigh. Find a place for your gaze, a small point of gaze for your vision and hands at the side, hands to prayer or hands soaring in a tree that is shaped and rooted and lifting as your tree wants to be. Rooting down to lift up. Drive the knee to the outside, the bent knee to the outside, hips shining forward, stability and strength in stillness. And without flinging, release, come back to center. We establish parity, both feet gripping, core engaged, awareness and energy into the right foot, perhaps a micro bend in the right knee, unweight the left, tuck it briefly, then place it on the calf or the inner thigh. Root down to lift up. And without flinging, release. And how much calmer our breath and our heart rate and just that small amount of balance and stillness. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Place the hands on the shin, behind the shin, under the toes. Actively draw yourself a little bit more deeply into forward fold. We have warmed up the back. We have warmed up the trunk. The long muscles of the low back that wrap around the bottom and connect the back of the legs. They want to stretch, they're warm. Visualize them lengthening. And bending the knees, placing the hands on the mat near your feet. Come to knees and come to hips and come to feet forward. Come to feet forward. Move flesh a little bit to get all right on your sits bones. Feet drawn, toes drawn toward the ceiling. Inhale the hands up and exhale forward fold. Supported on the mat. Back of our legs, hands on the knees, hands on shins, perhaps hands to the toes, drawing you more deeply forward. Gentle arm and hand grip to deepen this pose. Straight or near straight knees, lengthening the back of the legs, the low back, and rest it. Soles of the feet come together, body a little bit more forward toward the feet, hands either gripping the top of the feet or palm up under the outer ankles to then clasp the top of the feet, drawing your head down, your chin to chest, into a bit of a circle here. Again, using arm, gentle arm strength to draw you more deeply into spinal flexion, back of the neck through the tailbone. And rest it. Again, feet out straight. Right foot crosses to the outside of the left knee and hands either both on the knee, opening to the right, or that's one stretch. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, fingers drawn to the sky. Right hand comes out behind you and activate your twist with a little hand strength from behind and leverage of the elbow. Breathe here, twist from hips, ribs, shoulders, neck, even your gaze bringing you around into more thorough spinal rotation. Breathe, check your arm, is it still vertical, the front arm and the fingers toward the sky? And rest it, switch it up. Both legs straight, left foot to the outside of the right knee, both hands gripping and twisting left or Left arm comes back, right elbow outside of knee, fingers to the sky, build your twist. And rest.
chest area. Bring the body forward a little bit to lay down on the mat. You bring knees to chest. Release the knees with your hands. Bring the hands to the top of the head to lift your head off the mat briefly to bring chin to chest and stretch skin from the back of the head. Lengthen the distance between the, the head where it touches the mat and your shoulders. A little bit of soft closing of the throat. Refine your knees in knees to chest. Maybe a slight rocking right, a slight rocking to the left. Keep the knees drawn up, but release them with your hands. Swing the backs of your hands together. Fingers wrapped around the top of the shin point on the outside, thumb on the inside. Now, allow your knees to widen and spread. Hold them bent and wide to open up the groin. Maybe roll a little bit over to the right. Hang on that hip for a jot. Come back center, roll a little to the left. Hang on that hip for a jot. Use arm and hand strength to open the knees and widen the legs. Stretch the groin. Move the hips around in their socket. And back to knees to chest. Again, release the hands. Bring the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Thumb to the outside. Fingers wrapped around the center. Right arm comes 90 degrees from your body. Palm down, gripping into the earth. Now and now your knees, allow your knees to very slowly and controlled fall to the left. Keep both shoulder blades on the mat. Perhaps tuck an ankle, the under ankle, behind and over the upper ankle. Toes to stretch this a little bit more deeply. Gentle arm strength, keeping your bent knees held together over to the side, pressed into the earth. Soften the breathing, shallow the breathing. and release back to center. Right hand outside of left knee, fingers wrapped around the top, facing the center, thumb to the outside, left arm out, 90 degrees, palm down, smear the arm into the earth, knees fall over slowly to the right, press them down together, bent into the earth, Knees back to center one more time, knees to chest. One more time, adjust your head and find knees to chest. And for final rest and relaxation, stay here in knees to chest or perhaps bring the feet down, soles of the feet together as we were before in butterfly or full length. Stretch your legs out, the heels close, but then the feet will naturally want to open up. If you're glasses wear, I invite you to take your glasses off. Hand on heart and hand on belly or hands palm up at the side. Snuggle the shoulder blades a little bit closer together to lift the chest. Make any final adjustments you need. And then allow gravity and heat of your body to melt you, mold you, bring you in union with the mat, to puddle you as it were. Find any source of tension, a tight jaw, clenched brow, bound belly, and try to soften. Endeavor to eliminate all source of effort or work as you completely surrender to the pull of gravity. the gentleness of breath that comes for embracing relaxation and effortlessness.
Where has tension crept back in? Are there areas that you can soften and yield? Deepening your breathing just a little bit from minimal to moderate. Inhale your arms overhead, fill with air, allow the knuckles to brush the floor, and then exhale the arms and hands back to the body. One more time, inhale the hands and arms up. Exhale, bring them back to the body. Bring the feet up close to the body, knees pointed toward the sky. Shift the hips to one side of the mat or the other to roll the other direction to stay on your warm mat, pillowing head on arm, uphill hand gently but firmly into the earth near your body. I'm taking a moment here to celebrate the energy traveling freely up and down the spine. We warmed it, we worked it, we stretched it, and then we massaged it by pressing on it in final rest. And all that therapy helping produce that clarity of thought, openness of heart, steadiness of breath. Inhale as you prepare to move. Exhale, push yourself into a seated or kneeling position. Anchored, anchored into the earth. Sitting tall or kneeling tall, but without strain. Thank you for doing yoga today with Penn State campus fitness and recreation. My name is Chris. Let's do this again soon. Inhaling up. Exhale. Allow the hands to come down. Thumb knuckles, brush forehead, nose, lips, chin, and to heart center. Namaste. Thank you for doing yoga today.